Hello everyone, my name is Steve Mitchell with the Mind of Watercolor YouTube channel. I'd like to talk to you today about one of my favorite brushes of all time, and that's the Silver Brush Black Velvet line. I'd like to take a look at it with you and show you a recent online workshop I did in which I used a number of them, and I will point out some of their great characteristics. Just an incredible brush. Let's go. Well, as, these, as you can see, these black handle brushes on the right are all the Silver Brush Black Velvets amazing brushes and um, this is what I use for this painting. The three on the end are from uh, Silver Brush's new large brush line and uh, they include you know large rounds, that big huge wash on the end, the two inch uh, square wash. I actually think I used another brush that's not shown here but I uh, love these flats here. The characteristics of the flat are just very versatile in what you can do and I'll demonstrate that. So let's go over and take a look at the painting. This is the two inch uh, wash and man is that an incredible brush. It's great for pre-wetting the paper. Now in case you don't know, silver brush black velvets are squirrel hair and synthetic mix. Squirrel is known for its ability to hold a lot of water and uh, but it's soft, um, thin and a little bit limp so they've been blended with synthetic and that gives it a lot of extra spring and it just makes almost uh, like a sable like brush characteristic in fact i've got a couple sables that i don't think work nearly as well as these but i love this big two inch square wash and you can see just for getting a lot of paint on the surface in a wet and wet situation or covering a lot of area it really you know puts it in there And here I just moved down to the one and a quarter inch square wash. Again, another great brush, very versatile. I mean, they give you nice knife edges and a variety of techniques. And of course the artist staple, I think the watercolorist staple is the round brush. And uh, here's one of the larger round brushes. This is a size 18. And you can go from doing that little detail to these sort of big uh, purposeful washes to cover area. Here I'm using the same big brush but to pop in some very small kind of trunk lines. And we're back to I think this is the three-quarter inch square wash and I just wanted to get some angular shapes in here but also be able to to paint in some larger shapes uh, flat so um, brush was perfect for that. The flat was perfect for that. And of course you can move right down the line. Really nice round. I'd probably use this round more than just about anything. I think this is the size 10. Incredibly versatile. Do a ton of detailing, yet it's got a big enough body to, you know, add some slightly larger washes. But I probably really did a good percentage of this painting um, detailing with this brush. You know, these black velvets, um, the way they dispense water is just so satisfying, and the points on these brushes are so good. I think that's one of the things I first noticed. My very first black velvet was a number six, fairly small. And I was actually doing an illustration, and I just, it was the first time I'd had a brush of that quality. I'd always use synthetics, mainly Taclon. And I just kept going, I can't believe how this brush handles. And from that moment on, I was intent on every time I went into an art store that had one, I started buying up, up various sizes. Love this little one quarter inch flat. Oh man, I mean, the little dry brush trees I was able to do in the background, I thought were just really, really cool. And uh, then you can just turn it on edge and get these nice uh, knife edge uh, lines. And so, I, hey, I could go right at the popping in the trunk. And when you do uh, uh, some line work like that on a knife edge, you just get a lot of stiffness. So, great brush to use. Here I'm using that same brush just to lift out of this dark color, just to lift some branch shapes. And where would a landscape artist be without a rigger? Their number six rigger 
um, a long, nice long body which holds a lot of paint and moisture. And of course, riggers give you long, stable, consistent lines. And the, the length of the body acts as a shock absorber so that you can get a consistent line. You load that sucker up with paint and water and you can paint lines, it seems like, forever. Just a fantastic, fantastic rigger. And there's the finished piece. Other than some bristle brush blending, this was all done with black velvets. And I just couldn't be more pleased with the process and the results. If you haven't tried them, I hope you will. Thanks everyone.